Welcome friends and collectors in today's Diecast Emporium video we're going to be doing a review of the new for 2023 Replicars 150 a scale link belt 355 excavator. Now this is the X4S version which is the current version of this type of 355 machine. All right before we get into the model in more detail let's take a look at the packaging and what comes with it. Here is the box that the model came in. Link belt 355, 150 a scale. Link belt excavators X4S. Link belt excavators on both side flaps. On the back, we have a picture of the real excavator along with just a couple tidbits of information about the real machine. 205 horsepower and an oper operating weight just shy of 79,000 pounds. You can also scan this with your phone if you want and that will bring up the full product brochure for this machine. Finally, the bottom of the box has all your copyright information. However, a uh, notable absence from anywhere on the packaging is the replicas information. So it's very hard for new collectors to decipher who made this model, which is pretty interesting. Once you open the box, you are greeted with an instructional sheet, which shows you how to fit the optional mirrors if you want to put those on your machine. And speaking of, here they are. They are attached to a sprue, so I'm not going to bother putting them on for the sake of this video. But if you want to put them on, there you go. There they are. All right, so this first appeared at Con Expo earlier this year. However, if you were like me and you were not able to attend that show, you can pick these up at the time that I am filming this video from the LBX online web store. Uh, and I will link a link to that down in this video's description for those that want to go pick it up. Uh, I don't remember exactly how much this was. I want to say around 135 um, not including tax or shipping. So there you go. I believe that's what I paid for it. All right, let's check out the details and decals, and then we'll get into functionality. One of the best aspects about this model is the details. You have link belt. You have 355 more sharp decals and detailing on the back counter weight including link belt 355 the yellow warning labels what's really cool is that they're not drilled through but those green highlights are what i presume to be the lifting eyes uh, but again it's unfortunate that they're not drilled through with holes in them all right onto the handrails on the right side of the machine they are thin into scale however they flex a lot so those are plastic moving the machine over to the right side this handrail appears to be metal, which is nice, and there is a antenna on top of the cab. Here's an air cleaner, there's your exhaust. There are a few cameras on this machine. There's one here, one here, and one here, so there's no excuse for bumping into something when you're on board the real piece of machinery. Another highlight that I like quite a lot, if we can zoom in very closely to the hydraulic lines, you can see the way that they are detailed, possibly. There we go. Uh, and it looks quite good. It looks very realistic. Also, if you look at the bucket, the bucket is fixed to the stick by some screws. So if you wanted to remove the bucket, it should be relatively simple to do that, uh, as long as you have a small enough Phillips screwdriver. To wrap up the details, let's look from the top-down view, where once again, the hydraulic line detail impresses even more with some silver connection joints and the colors changing from black to silver to red back down to black on the other side. All right, one other thing I want to mention before we get into functionality is that these hydraulic lines where they connect, they're very, very easy and susceptible to popping out. So if that does bother you, my suggestion would be add a very little bit of glue so that they stay in the same position when you are moving the excavator around to different display opportunities. All right, let's take the excavator out for a test drive and see what its functionality can do. We'll start off with the tracks. They are metal. They roll well enough, especially if you have a, service, sur a surface excuse me, with any friction. But as you can see here on the review area surface, they do seem to work and roll well enough. Another interesting part on this model that I like is the opening engine hatch. And there's a ton of detail down there, as you can see. Most of it is all gray. But it's interesting enough to uh, potentially have the hatch open for some maintenance going on. Unfortunately, the cab door does not open on this model. 
It will rotate 360 degrees, as you would expect any excavator model to do, and that seems to work just fine. We lift the excavator up to its highest extent. Mine will go to here without forcing anything. We'll take the stick out now. And that's pretty excellent. As you can see, it goes out a nice and far distance. How about digging depth, the other end of things? Excellent. As you can see, there is no cylinder left exposed, so you can get a very aggressive digging angle if that's what you want to do. All right, let's take this thing back up. Okay. And we'll do a transport pose. Stick comes in nice and tight, bucket curls up well enough, and you could bring it down to there if you wanted to pose it on a low boy. All right, when we come back, we'll have a low boy on the table, and I'll show you what it looks like on the deck of one. All right, so as you can see, the excavator makes a very good transport load on a low boy trailer, if for no other reason, because the boom and stick fold up tight enough that it makes a very, very realistic and convincing load display. One other display I want to show you real quick before we end the video, and that is the excavator loading a uh, dump truck. So let's get the low boy out of here. Bring in a 150 a scale dump truck. Obviously, a red one, just to stick kind of with the, the link belt color scheme. And... Without any issues whatsoever, the cylinders are strong enough that if you wanted to pose the machine discharging into the back of a dump truck, it will hold the pose without bleeding down over time. All right, let's wrap this video up. In conclusion, the 1 to 50 scale Replicars Link Belt 355X4S is really an excellent model. It does everything that you'd expect it to do with today's modern day models, with the exception of perhaps having the cab door open. However, that is offset, in my opinion, by the detail that you see when you open the engine hatch. The functionality of the boom stick and bucket is excellent. And as every excavator model should have nowadays, you have the ability to remove the bucket that comes with the model if you'd like to put your own spin on things and perhaps have a... 3D printed bucket or maybe a Gaz Evans bucket attachment on this excavator. Finally, the price may be steep for some. However, bearing in mind other prices of other excavators around this size class in 150 a scale, it is actually a very, very good deal. And I would argue that it has as good, if not better, functionality than any of the other reduced tail swing excavators that I have in my collection. Until next time, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like the video. If you have any comments or questions or concerns, please leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, be well, be safe. I'll catch you in the next review.